Hi yogis, welcome to a new yoga class. Today we are going to be practicing a yoga flow for mental health. So this sequence is intended to bring you a sense of calm and relaxation. It'll help you feel more grounded in your body, aware of your breath, and present with your thoughts. We'll begin by coming into a seated restorative pose. Bending the knees, placing the soles of the feet on the ground. Wrap your arms around your legs and then rest your forehead either on top of the knees or gently in between the knees. You can wrap the hands around each other or you can rest the palms on top of the ankles or the shins, feeling a sense of grounding. Closing your eyes here and allowing yourself to fully arrive in your body on your mat and into your practice. Begin to tune inwards, just noticing how you feel. And as always, checking in without any judgments, just observing, becoming aware. Now we'll start to tap into our breathing, taking a few deep breaths. So take a deep inhale through your nose. As you exhale, open your mouth, breathe it out. Again, take a big breath in through both nostrils, fill the lungs, and then exhale it out completely. Two more just like that. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Once more here on your own. And on your last exhale, just feel your body completely soften and relax. Feel yourself sink into a place of complete stillness, complete surrender. And take about two more nourishing breaths here. Beginning to breathe deep into the belly. And then on your next inhale, slowly start to lift the forehead away from the knees, placing the palms on top of the knees. We'll begin to move into seated cats and cows just to warm up the spine. So as you inhale, start to pull the chest and belly towards the thighs, lifting the heart. As you exhale, straighten out the arms, round through the upper back, bring your chin to your chest. Good, inhale to lift the heart, cow pose. Exhale, round through the shoulder blades, cat pose. Inhale, tailbone tilts forward, belly to thighs. And as you exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly in towards the spine few more just like that here, finding any other intuitive movement, maybe rolling the neck a few times. And continuing to move with your breath. Almost allowing this to be a moving meditation. And then we'll move into bound angle pose. Finding a straight spine, bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees out wide. Pressing the sit bones into the ground, lengthening through the spine. Place the thumbs to the soles of the feet. Opening the feet up like a book. And then just start to massage the arches and the edges of your feet. So pressing your thumbs into the bottoms of the feet, 
and just gently squeezing the tops of your feet with your other fingers. So just showing your feet some love, massaging out any tightness. And still being mindful of your breath. Okay, don't forget to show some love to your toes as well. And your heels. And then you can wrap your hands around your ankles, inhale to find a tall spine, preparing to come into a forward fold as you exhale. You can keep the heels close towards your body or further away for a less intense stretch in the hips, but allow yourself to completely surrender here. So let the upper body hang heavy, relax the back of the neck as you come into this forward fold. Maybe close your eyes, noticing where you feel the sensations and where you feel the stretch in your own body. slowly with your next breath start to lift yourself up finding a straight spine bring your hands underneath your knees gently draw the knees together and then you can swing the legs to one side come onto your hands and knees for a tabletop sink the hips back over the heels come into child's pose at the back of your mat Spread the knees wide, extend the arms out in front of you, and rest your forehead on the mat. Coming back to this place of stillness, softening into your body, feeling into your breath. Preparing to come into a twist, lifting the head up, threading the right arm underneath the left arm, right palm face up, bringing your right ear to the mat. Keep pressing the hips back towards the heels, feeling the stretch in your right shoulder. Coming back to center, lifting the head, extending the right arm, threading the left arm underneath the right arm, bringing your left ear to the mat, breathing into the twist, into your left shoulder, and relaxing your face, your low back your legs lifting the head up coming back to center as you extend the left arm in front of you both arms forward resting your forehead back on the mat taking two to three breaths here On your next inhale, gently lift the forehead up, gazing at the top of your mat. Start to slide the arms forward, lifting the chest away from the mat, prepare to come down into cobra, dropping the hips and the belly down to the mat, 
palms underneath the shoulders, elbows hugged in as you press into your palms. Inhale to lift the hearts, finding a baby cobra. As you exhale, release back down to the ground. Press yourself up through tabletop and back through child's pose, hips over heels, forehead on the mat. So we'll do that two more times. On your next inhale, lift the forehead, gaze up at the top of your mat, sliding forward, and then lifting the chest away from the mat, dropping the hips, the belly, and the chest down palms underneath the shoulders as you press yourself up into a baby cobra keeping the elbows hugged in drawing the shoulders down and back lifting the gaze as you exhale lower press up into tabletop and then press back into your child's pose taking one breath here And then lifting your gaze one last time, sliding forward, lifting the chest, dropping the hips, the belly, and then pressing yourself up maybe a little bit deeper this time, maybe come into full cobra if you feel ready or keep the elbows bent. And then lower down into sphinx pose, coming down onto the forearms, elbows stacked underneath the shoulders, forearms parallel to each other, pressing into the tops of the feet. Imagine that you're dragging the elbows and the forearms towards the back of the mat. Feel your chest lift, feel your heart open. Taking one more breath here. And then slowly bring the chin down towards the chest preparing to come into forearm plank. So tuck the toes under, lift the kneecaps up off of the mats, press into the forearms, lift the hips and lift the belly away from the mats. Pressing into the forearms firmly, rounding through the upper back slightly, keeping the spine straight, core engaged, pressing the heels towards the back of your mats. Finding your inner strength as you hold here. You might feel your arms start to shake a little bit. Welcome that. Take two more breaths. And then slowly drop the knees down. Pressing yourself up to come into a seated position, bringing the hips back over the heels. Resting your hands in your lap, right palm over the left palm. Soften the shoulders down and away from the ears and then close your eyes. Just notice what's present for you now. Notice how your body feels, your core, your arms, your chest. And allow your breath to Nourish your body and calm your mind. Gently blink the eyes open and come into a seated twist, placing the right hand behind you, bringing the left hand to the outside of the right knee, gazing over your right shoulder. And switching sides. Coming through center, left hand behind you, right hand to the outside of the left knee. Coming back to center, interlace the fingers behind your back. Press the palms together as you straighten out the elbows, pressing the fists down towards the ground, feeling a stretch and opening in the chest, lifting the gaze, Bringing the chin away from the chest. On your next breath, bring your chin to your chest. Start to come into a forward fold. Hinging from the hips as you release your forehead to the ground. Lifting the fist up and away from the mats. 
drawing the arms towards the ceiling. Now option to stay here or you can lift the hips up away from the heels coming lightly onto the crown of your head. Keep lifting the fists and the arms up. Gently start to shift the arms towards the left side of your mat, feeling a stretch in your right shoulder. Come back to center, shifting the arms to the right, stretching out the left shoulder. Come back through center, and then slowly, if the hips were lifted, bring them back over the heels, lowering the fists towards the low back and lifting yourself up. Slowly release the hands out in front of you, lifting the hips away from the heels, tuck the toes under, send the hips back, coming into a toe stretch. You can keep your fingertips or your palms on the mat if this stretch is intense for you. Otherwise, try to find a comfortable seated position upright. Maybe placing the hands on top of the thighs. Stacking the head over the heart and the heart over the pelvis. Softening the shoulders down, closing the eyes wherever you are. Finding nice, full, deep breaths. Feeling the sensations in your toes, your ankles, doing your best to breathe through it. Gently blink the eyes open if they were closed. Place your hands down in front of you, untuck the toes, and then gently tap the tops of the feet to the mat returning some blood flow back into the feet and the legs. And then swing the legs out in front of you, coming into a seated position with both legs straight out in front. Finding a tall spine, lengthening through the crown of your head. And then bend into the left knee, placing the left sole of the foot inside the right thigh. Coming into a twist, bring your right hand to your left knee, turning to face the left side of your mat, lifting the left arm up as you inhale. As you exhale, side bend, reaching the left fingertips for the right toes. Breathing into your upper torso. Creating space in between the ribs. Feeling the stretch. On your next in-breath, slowly come back up. Turning to face your right leg. Keeping the right foot flexed. Inhale. As you exhale, start to fold over the right leg, letting the upper body hang heavy, bringing your forehead towards your knee or your belly towards your thigh, either letting the arms rest alongside the right leg or you can reach for the back of your leg, your shin, or your toes. Feeling the stretch in the back of your right leg. Creating more space in your body. As you breathe in, slowly start to lift yourself up. And then switching legs, 
extending the left leg out in front of you, bending the right knee, placing the right sole inside of the left thigh. Turning to the right, bringing your left hand to your right knee. As you inhale, reach your right arm up, bringing your bicep towards your ear, and as you exhale, side bend to the left, reaching the right fingertips towards the left toes. Allowing your breath to be your anchor here. Still planting down firmly into the sit bones. Lengthening through the side body. Breathing in to lift yourself up. Coming back to center. Turning to face your left leg. Big breath in. As you exhale, gently walk the fingertips forward, coming into your forward fold. Reaching your forehead towards your knee or your belly towards your thigh, feeling the stretch in the back of your left leg, keeping the left foot flexed. You can either keep the arms alongside the body nice and relaxed, or you can reach the hands for your left leg. And gently lifting yourself back up, finding a straight spine. Extend the right leg straight out in front of you keeping both legs straight, toes pointed up towards the ceiling, grounding down through your sit bones, lengthening through the spine, take a big breath in. As you exhale, slide your arms down the legs, coming into a seated forward fold, allowing the upper back to relax, Maybe reaching the fingertips for the back of the legs or the toes. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On your next breath, Gently lift yourself up. From here, start to scoot forward, coming to the center of your mat. Gently lowering all the way down onto your back. Hug the knees into your chest, wrapping the arms around the legs. Either finding stillness here or you can gently rock from side to side, massaging out the low back. Gently place the soles of the feet on the ground, hip width distance apart. Place the arms alongside the body, palms face down, making sure the fingertips can slightly brush the heels. Preparing to come into bridge pose. Pressing evenly into the feet to lift the hips up and away from the mat. Energetically squeezing the legs together. Pressing into the palms, lifting the hips. Drawing the chin away from the chest. You can either keep the arms where they're at or you can interlace the fingers, bringing the palms into a fist, gently pressing the arms into the ground to lift the hips a little bit higher. Continuing to breathe. One more breath. And gently releasing the fingertips if you took that variation and then dropping the hips and the back down to the ground. 
start to drop the knees to each side, finding windshield wipers, just resetting the low back. Finding stillness. Extend the left leg out in front of you, pressing the left heel into the ground, and hug your right knee into your chest. Start to find circles in your right ankle, rolling your foot in one direction, and then the opposite. Coming into a twist as you draw the right knee across your body and all the way to the left side. Placing your left hand on top and extending your right arm out to the side. Gazing over to the right if it's comfortable for your neck. Starting to breathe into the belly. Breathing into the twist. Bringing your right knee back to center. This time extending the right leg, pressing the right heel into the ground and hugging the left knee into your chest. Start to find circles in the left ankle, rolling the foot in one direction and then the opposite. Drawing the left knee across your body all the way over to the right side, placing your right hand on top and extending the left arm out to the side, bringing your gaze over the left shoulder, pressing the left shoulder blade down into the ground and coming back to your breath. Bring your left knee back across the body, coming back to center. Hugging both knees into your chest, wrapping your arms around your legs. Giving yourself one last hug. Bringing your forehead towards your knees. Finding gratitude for your body and all that it allows you to do, to move, to breathe. Release your head back down to your mat. And then when you're ready, you can slowly start to extend each leg straight out in front of you, bringing both heels to the outer edges of the mat, letting the toes fall out to the sides. If you prefer, you can come into reclined bound angle by bringing the soles of the feet together and letting the knees fall out to the sides. Rest your left hand over your heart and your right hand on your low belly. Closing your eyes if they're not yet closed already. Taking a big breath in through the nose and exhaling fully out through the mouth. Taking a moment to scan your body, noticing how you feel physically, but also mentally. Notice if you are unconsciously holding on to any last bit of tension anywhere in your body. See if you can use your breath to soften.
I'll leave you here for another minute in your Shavasana. Feel free to stay here longer if you'd like. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I hope that you enjoyed this class and I hope to see you in the next class soon. Namaste.